what I've been trying to do over the last couple of years is to develop a very inexpensive cell phone app which would allow people to record the sound so that they knew that the sound was physical and we could then go in and analyze it to see whether or not from the frequency characteristics or these peaks on the signal whether or not there was one or many hums and so Orchi, uh, who's come in under the MITAX Global Link program from India, is doing a research project for me across the summer where she is extending an Android uh, application on the phone to assist me in the next stage of getting the Ranchlands hum analyzed to try to better understand where it's coming from, what, what its characteristics are, and whether we can help people to try to do noise cancellation and actually remove the hum from their bedroom where if it's keeping them awake, it is, it's quite a bit of a health issue. Other than hearing the recordings, um, all I can say is that it is something quite low in frequency, about two octaves below middle C, uh, that people hear on a periodic basis. It comes and goes. Um, I went to one house on one occasion and uh, I could hear it very, very faintly. And I mean, I really had to concentrate hard to be able to hear it. But they say on other occasions it's so loud that they can't hold a conversation in the house. But yet the people next door don't hear it. So it's a low frequency noise or a series of low frequency noises that come and go um, for no apparent reason.